Hello, Summit School District staff. Welcome back and happy 2022. I'm Elizabeth Edgar, the physical health coordinator with the Summit School District, and I'm gonna give just a really brief update on some COVID happenings um, in the district. So school district leadership did meet with public health twice last week to talk about the recent increase in positive cases in our community, and also to discuss um, returning back to school. And Summit County Public Health is advising we go back to school and do in-person learning, Granted, we have enough staff to do the work. Um, Summit County Public Health feels safe in us returning to school because they consider the school district buildings to be safer environments than many um, other environments in the community, um, mostly due to the mitigation practices that have been put into place. And by mitigation practices, I'm talking about the improvements made to the air ventilation system last year, the cleaning protocols in the school, the masking in the schools. So thank you so much for your help with that. Staying home when people have COVID-like symptoms and getting tested, frequent hand washing, the screening testing in schools, and then also working with public health and other healthcare providers to make sure our staff and students have access to vaccinations and boosters. Um, public health is recommending staff wear a KN95 or double mask when we're in school. We do have a stockpile of KN95s that we will get out to the buildings. Um, we've heard that maybe teachers don't love the ones that we've got. Um, so we're gonna check with the state to see if we can get something different. We're also encouraging staff to sign up for the screening testing that's taking place in the schools. Today, the Novir folks are gonna be at the high school and the middle school just to do testing for staff. So um, check with your principal if you're not sure when you should uh, report to one of those sites to get a, a, a really fast 15 minute COVID test. Um, you also may have heard last week, CDC changed the guidance around quarantines and isolations. So we are working closely with public health to make sure um, we understand the details of the new rules and how that's gonna work in the context of school. So I anticipate this week will be a bit of a hybrid between the old rules and the new rules, but um, we'll get it squared away shortly and communicate that out with you and with parents. Um, we acknowledge there's a lot going on around COVID right now, and um, we're gonna do our best to keep you updated and informed. We're gonna share a link to a Google form. So if you have any questions, um, please put those questions in that form and we'll create a Q&A and get that out to you soon. Uh, we appreciate you, we care about you, and we're so thankful for all that you do for our students. Thanks and have a really great day.